what's up everyone welcome back to the tech security video in today's video i'm going to show you how to install ubuntu in your windows 11 pc so if you have windows 11 installed and you are using windows 11 now you can install ubuntu into windows 11 so as you can see in the ubuntu site install complete ubuntu terminal environment in minutes in windows with a windows subsystem for linux so the first thing we're going to need to do is to enable uh, windows subsystem for linux so let's go to search and search for control panel and in here make sure this view by is category then go to programs then go to program and features in here you can see a left uh, left side you can see a uh, one a link called turn windows features on and off click on that in here scroll down to bottom then you will you will be able to see windows subsystem for linux check this one and click ok it will search for all the required files and install it into your uh, windows machine it will take some time wait for it okay it's finished now now what you need to do is to restart your machine i'm going to restart your machine now okay once you restart your machine now your windows has windows subsystem for linux now the only thing we have to do is to install ubuntu so we you can do uh, ubuntu terminal stuff in windows 11 to do that go to search and type store and go to microsoft store because it's in microsoft store Once you come here, go to search bar and type, let's type Linux and see what we are getting. So if I type Linux and search it, you can see I have a bunch of applications. So let's see, you can install Kali Linux and Ubuntu and uh, what else we have? We have Fedora, uh, Alpine and stuff. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about ubuntu so i'm going to click on ubuntu here or you can search for ubuntu here as well okay once you come here click on get you'll get that uh, ubuntu and install into your machine okay now the installation has been finished correctly so as you can see you can see the button has changed to get to open so once the button has changed click on open now if you get in this error that means you need to upgrade the kernel so what you need to do is select this uh, link and right click on your mouse then go to google uh, google i mean uh, web browser then paste it here the link and it will come up to this section once you come here click on this download package and it will start downloading the update now i'm going to click open here now this is the setup i'm going to close this window for now and i'm going to go to next and it will install the subsystem for linux update okay update has been finished now click finish let's open up again okay installing ubuntu okay as you can see it's now asking for uh asking me a username for ubuntu let's put a, a name tech pure then it's asking for a password i'm put i'm going to put one two three four then you re rewrite the new password one two three four and press enter okay now we are in the ubuntu terminal okay so now so let's see how we can go to 
um, C drive or something like that. Let's type ls. Uh, sorry, ls m n t. So it will see uh, show me it's in C drive and it's mounted to C, D, and G. So if we go here, I have C, D, and G. <clears throat> now I can go to any of these drives and uh, do whatever you want to. Let's see, I need to go to, uh, let's see, the D drive. If I go to D drive, I have this bunch of files. Let's go to D drive. So what you need to do is C, D, and go to M and T slash, uh, I want to go to D, so I'm going to click, uh, I'm put in D and press enter. Now I'm in D drive. Now let's see whether we have correctly in D drive. Let's see what files we have. So I'm going to type L S A L. Sorry, A L all. As you can see, I have these kind of um, files. So let's see whether it's going to match. Okay, so gaming folder is there, recording folder is there, software and work folder is there, and these are the files in here. So that's how you install Ubuntu into your machine, uh, Windows 11 machine. And I'm not going to go through everything in here because I am not an expert in Linux. I just, uh, I'm good at, uh, with Windows um, tips and tricks, so I'm not going to go through all the things in, in this bash. Um, if you are using Ubuntu right now or if you are coming from Ubuntu and you know how to use Ubuntu, this will be helpful for you to uh, do it in Windows as well. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope this video helpful for you to find out how to install Ubuntu and how to run uh, bash commands uh, in Ubuntu terminal and how to do these things. So if that's the case, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And see you next time with another video like this. Bye-bye.